though. Speaking of a team with low wins that you can slap the over, I'm going with the New York football Jets. Um, I'm the only one that seems to be on this <laughs> hype train of, um, uh, of Zach Wilson, but also on the hype train of his second-year coach, in Robert Sala, I think, you know, he got his feet wet as a head coach. He went through the trials and tribulations of a really piss poor season last year. You know, so if you get that out of the way and you get that under your belt and you realize, you know, OK, this ain't like just being a defensive coordinator, folks. This is a lot harder than I thought. And of course, growing pains. That happens. Uh, Zach Wilson is now forced, forced. I'm telling you right now, he is forced to be good this year or the book will be closed on him. I'm telling you right now, like they've already surrounded him with weapons. Elijah Moore's coming back up. Uh, he's got decent weapons, that two-headed monster behind him now. And I say monster as if, like, you know, uh, again, I think Michael Carter was good. And then you add the kid this year. Was it Bryce Hall? Bryce? Is that Reese? Bryce Hall. Um, you add him, and all of a sudden, things are going to happen. Things are going to click. This offense could be good. I'm looking at the defensive side of the ball. If C.J. Mosley can play back to such, like, half of the potential that people said he had as a Baltimore Raven, he can lead that defense, right? He's got to stay you, healthy. That's right, really that's what, what I'm saying. If he can just stay on the field, he'll be good. Sauce Gardner, again, you pick him that early, you're expecting big things. We talked about the NBA draft being nothing uh, to do with the NFL draft because the NFL draft, if you're picked in the first round, you are expected to go right in there, unless you're a project quarterback. Other than that, you're probably going to be inserted right in. So that's why I'm with... I'm all about um, the New York Jets. Sa- Sauce Gardner or the uh, New York Jets, too. But I do want to bring up this. Last year, the Jets went 0-6 in the AFC East. 0-6. They didn't win one division game. This year, if they could just go 3-3, three and three, right? Just th- go 500 within your division. I assume you'll, you'll get swept by Buffalo. And maybe you pick off a game against Miami, right? You can sweep the Patriots. You know what I'm saying? Like, the Patriots aren't built the way they used to be, and I don't care who the fuck their head coach is. I don't care how many Super Bowls he's won. The Patriots, and I'll talk about them in a little bit, not the team they used to be. So I'm looking at this five and a half wins, and I'm thinking, this is low. This is low for the Jets. I feel like if you go three and three within your division, all you got to do is pick up three wins outside the division? Sign me the fuck up all the way. Jets, you're the team.